What happened to that? He got stolen. I have four that are ready at the warehouse. And then we're still waiting on that driver's front fender. What happened to that? He got stolen. We have our ideas, but we don't really know for sure who took it. All that we know is Fender's missing. And I'm looking it over and I'm like, the sun is still silver. And he's like, it's not glass. And he looked up and he's like, oh shit. <laughs> the field distributor is like seized. Like this plate right here will not move at all. It's rock solid. So no fuel is actually getting to where we need it to get to. And the car won't run idle. Like I washed it, clayed it, I sprayed it with the iron remover, got all the like the contaminants I could off of it, and then I just started with the hood. How would you say this car was? Terrible. And it's like it does it too much justice because it's so much worse. Yalla <laughs> ta'a. Nothing. Just from the gasoline. It's bad gas directly from the gas station. How crazy is that? And now look, we, we train it out, we go to Shell, we get some good gas. It runs perfect. <laughs> Yeah, we're probably gonna do like a comparison. So we have an AMG uh, 63 CLS, then the Brabus one, and then the Rentex. So holy trinity, we got all of them. <laughs> I wanna put all the cars back in place. I'm not leaving when the car is all scattered like this. It's whack. You wanna bring someone, it's like, it doesn't look right. Yeah, I agree with you. We'll get them all right, and then we'll, all the ones we're gonna service, we'll just put them on the side. Are you able to send me a picture so I know the cars? Because I have different warehouses. I just want to know which warehouse to send it to. Can you email me a picture of them or is that possible? Yes. Do you think it's going to be one of the, the new other Gullwing too? Maybe. The gold Gullwing, yeah, might be here. I don't know what it is. I got to see. I told her to send me pictures. Johnny Dang. Finishing off the piece. I'm gonna have to roll this. There. It's gonna be tight though. All things. This car has a hydraulic suspension. You can't get pressurized. You're pretty much SOL. So moving this car like this is really not good. So, what are you doing to this car, bro? We're gonna see why the suspension is collapsed in the front, and then we're gonna see why this engine has no power at all. Really, his next four tracks have to be like four or five tracks have to be all ether. Like, it has to be very, coming, very aggressive. Yeah, no, he's right. Because I'm coming into the game, hey, thing. we don't need that. But this is the leverage. Yeah. This is the leverage. Artists, they have nothing when they go to labels. They have nothing. No. They go to labels with nothing, and then the, the label offers them a loan, which is a little bad. Pure Ross. Maybach music. No, it's 100% Maybach music shit. 57 nets, you ain't even got a guess. Little mama bliss. Listen, I was going on a different frequency. 
I was trying to do different. I was trying to make this album sound all like expensive taste, which is that that fucking crazy, morbid, scary yeah. like. Thirty pre mergers I park in a different real estate garage. Scream murder. Patina pulled up and killed the gang. Gambala. These are songs like da, da, da. the yeah. beat alone's a hit. Yeah. Then when I do do it, that's like out of the water. All right, dope. So, all right, I'll talk to Victor more about it. We'll figure it out. But thank you for sharing those uh, tracks. Yeah, H. Oh, no, doubt. no doubt. I'll give you Daniel's number, bro. Stay in touch with him. Hit yeah, him yeah let me know. Yeah, but this guy's like my brother for real. We've been doing this thing for a long time saying, yo, we're going to meet Ross, we're going to meet Ross. So when we actually get to meet him, we wanted to have that sound yep. and show him like, yo. I have now with it. It's like a storybook. Yes, yes, yes. And yes. like it's meant to be oh. listened to all the way through that's, like that. That's you know? what I did. That's yes, what you have to So right now, this is where I'm at. So I do the last songs and then I come and I listen to everything. Okay, I said X amount of cars here. So that has to be here because right? it's a, like a, it can't be 200 benzes in this song and then 10 benzes here. Cause it's like a progression, right? This is the first album I ever, ever planned first. Usually, I'm just at home, wake up, do some shit. Also, it's like you've been doing shit for the last year, so it's like a gen, it's like a capsule. That's exactly what it was. So while I was doing it, I knew. So let me go write this song, write this song. So I was writing the whole time and thinking and shit and not writing full verses, really just writing like ideas. Thematic. And then when I sat down to actually do it, I had so much to pull from. That's why I did it so quick and so easily. <laughs> Our main issues were cars not sitting level and then our valve cover gasket was leaking pretty bad. M120, never even seen it at the dealer. Really. You just didn't see cars this old at the dealership, so definitely a learning experience. I've got a 126 coupe with the M117. Um, can you pop it one more time, please? Yeah. I'm gonna get a photo of it. Yeah. He knew from high idle, ABS light, ASR light, that your OVP relay has gone bad. So we're gonna replace this and solve three issues at once. I literally get a call and the guy's like, I'm outside with cars. I'm like, what cars? They're like 190s. First Evo we got in the collection. The other one's a Cosworth, it's the same spec. I didn't even know they were coming today, so this is just a normal Evo. Nothing crazy. The only thing I like about it really is the mileage. It's 25,000 kilometers, very low mileage. But this is something special. The Brabus 201, this is rare. It has Brabus interior, all the leather is Brabus. It has the motor, wheels, exhaust. This one's special. What about the CL over there? Another car that arrived today, 2005 CL65, one of like 142 made in 2005. So this is pretty rare. Has a nice color on it, midnight blue. Great condition, low miles. Can't go wrong with a nice V12. Still has more cars for me. So you don't know where this driver is right now? I said there's an accident. He's on the way. How fun is this? Not knowing what you <laughs> come This is insane. <laughs> How many cars do you think are at the port? Honestly, I don't know. Maybe 10. Uh, moving these cars left every day, moving them back and forth. Back and forth. I want to start making it look like, um, you know, museum vibes. At least we can start like planning for the future. Oh, this is the V12. This right here is an actually a 126 with a M120 V12 converted into it. Straight from Latvia. What is this picture? Honestly, I have no idea. I guess it's manual. I don't know. I gotta look. We bought so many cars, but I don't even know what the fuck is going on. I called him. He said he's coming over. I don't know what this car is about. Daniel will know what this car is about. I love this right here. It's really nice. It's a really nice detail. Is that custom? 
Yeah, that was custom made. <laughs> You're sad to see This is a really rare car right here. So, B12, of course. Big boy. It was converted by some crazy Russians. Would you say you have left on that, Brad? Um, the G-Wagon? Um, I'm wiring the doors in because you have to feed the wires through the doors. As I see issues pop up in the wrap, I'm telling him so he can fix it. That truck is, uh, it's something. But it's coming out really nice. Like, uh, I like the way it looks. No, it's just sat for months, bro. Yeah. What up, Daniel? Daniel, what is it? You know the model, right? Yes. Full Gravis kit on it. 4,000? Yeah, 4,000 euro. We needed an old car, another yeah, old I love car. it. We had five cars randomly show up today. <laughs> and like, not just like regular cars. <laughs> yeah, like crazy ones, crazy. Bradley, you excited to have this thing around? Between this and like the V12 outside, I don't even know what to do. I'm losing my mind. All right, you check 21,000 kilometers. 21,000 kilometers. Incredibly low. What? All documented. German, because Germany has to stamp it every year in the, in the MOT. Yeah. So you have a whole oh, book coming okay. every year. How many miles are on it? I was like, oh, dude, they put Brabus leather in the back seat everywhere. With blue piping. Psychos. It's green with blue piping. I have a vehicle at the port of Brunswick, Georgia. Do you know what year it is? What model? From where? Yeah, this is. From where also? 1990 Mercedes G36 Brabus. You want to know something? That Brabus has the same leather as that one. That's hard. Except not the piping in the green. 